Welcome to YouTube by DJ's PRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. Uh, one of the last videos I did, I showed how to install these inner fenders here that I got from one of my friends, uh, my friend Dan, that he 3D printed to these guys. Now I had to remove them from the vehicle because I decided to upgrade the bumper to an RC4 wheel drive steel bumper. Uh, basically, it's a Jeep JK Rampage recovery bumper. Nice bumper, set up to put shackles in front of here, and there is a place to put a winch. I am uh, thinking about putting a winch on this vehicle here. And uh, yeah, now basically for the not making this video super long, what I did in advance, uh, I had to modify the rails on this vehicle to make this bumper fit and to be able to in the near future to be able to put a winch on this guy here. Because uh, it doesn't go like the stock one. The stock one has a set of pins that inserts in the physical rail itself. And the other thing too, this is the, the stock rail. And when you insert your bumper in it, you have two set screws here that holds it to prevent it from coming off. I changed this guy and I went with the aluminum one from Hot Racing. And the reason I wanted to go for the aluminum one uh, is because I was going for the steel bumper here. It's going to have a screw on each side here that holds the physical bumper plus the rail plus the uh, physical uh, mount. Plus I had to drill two more and I had to set a hole just a little bit further down to have two sets of bolts. One screw, one bolt to hold this guy to prevent him from just decide to just drop down. That would be nice. You're driving, next thing you know, your your bumper is like this on your vehicle. Instead of being like straight, it's sagging. Uh, to prevent that. Basically, I mounted it on the vehicle. This was the stock hole right here. Then this is the hole I, uh, I physically drilled. And this is the other stock hole. Now, the inner fender uses this hole and this hole to make everything line up. Now, what I'll need to do that that one I did not do in advance is make another hole here. Now, on this guy here, I'll try to see a little better here. Yeah, you see there's two holes. Uh, now I'll need to drill the middle one. And that's not hard to do. Same thing on this guy here. Now the other modification I did to these fenders here. Uh, I don't remember if I did show it on my other one. Other video of when I installed these guys. Pretty sure I did. There was a lip here. That was coming straight out and created a channel. An I channel if you wanted to, an H channel. Uh, I had to remove this. Sample reason because the physical bumper itself, the sides are wider than this guy here. It would, it would not work the way it's going to be positioned. Uh, I had to remove that lip on both of them. Now, once I'll bolt my bumper back here, I'll be able to reinsert these fenders at the same time having the bumper sandwiched between both and bolt everything up now i could physically show you guys how i did this but one of the reason that i pre did this way before decided to record this video is every vehicle are different uh, it doesn't mean you're gonna go with the same bumper as me it doesn't mean 
that you may not go with a different winch on it. Uh, I do have a winch in mine. Uh, we might see an upgrade in the near future or an add-on, should I say, to this vehicle. And if I decide to go with the winch I was talking about, I'll physically need some, some room in front of it. Because I'm not going to go with a small winch. Um, yeah, it's going to be an RC for wheel drive for sure. Uh, it's, yeah. We'll see. Not sure if I'm going to go with it or not. But I'll plan in advance. That way, planning sometimes and something in advance will save you a lot, a lot of trouble. Uh, before building this vehicle, I decided to see what I wanted to put on. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought exactly what kind of wheels, uh, what kind of servo, what kind of speed control, will I change the bumper, things like that. I, I took my time. Now, instead of boring you just by talking here, uh, I'm going to mount this guy up and uh, probably in the next video, I'll be able to show you guys exactly how it looks like. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified next time I upload a video, uh, hit that bell notification. It'll notify you next time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. Uh, and uh, sorry for just a talking video. And not really showing you something. But like I was saying again. Doesn't mean it's going to be the same for you guys. Uh, there's a multiple ways to install these guys. And yeah. I digress right now. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching.